and let's start here. Okay, game number four in Battle of Africa here between SY and S uh, LOS, the Brazilians. Check here Malay, Tutians, Vietnamese. Malay, Tutians, Vietnamese. Tutians, from Rivi. I think we're going to see towers again. I thought he might pick Malay with a stronger uptime, but he's going for Tutians, which also are a pretty decent tower civilization since you can garrison 10 villagers inside the tower instead of the normal 5. Okay, Lix flank with Vietnamese. Seems they are really far ahead. Uh, for a part of each other. Sometimes they spawn closer to each other. The maps yeah, always looking the same here with the gold and the stone. Pocket Yo playing as the Malay. Malay yeah, might be interesting to see with the fast uptime going into scouts. And then we have Vivi. I really expect him to go for a tower rush this game as well. Read Chinese. I think it's a nice pick. Chinese <coughs> start with more villagers at the start and they will be able to get the town center up a bit faster. The pocket civilization for the Brazilians is Miguel with the Spanish. Spanish. Hmm. Don't expect to see towers, but maybe we will see some conquistadors. Although I think going scouts into knights is probably safer. And then we have the other flank, Dogao playing as the Mayans. Interesting that they picked Mayans on this map. Yeah, quickly looking at the sieves. Yeah, interesting. Well, they didn't have really much else what they could pick. I mean, instead of Mayans, they could have went for Italians or Aztecs, so... Okay, I can understand it then. Lix already spotting the villagers from the cow who are taking the zebras. This game has a pretty slow start. Come on, Vivi. Maybe three idols. There we go. And Vivi, look, five minutes, five minutes feudal. Vivi, seventeen population, seventeen population. We know what's going to happen. He's going to go towers, but this uptime is so insane, 17 villagers. He might run into Riot here. Riot still not clicking up, look at this Riot. Riot will be, Riot and Yo will be the only two players who have not clicked up to Feudal Age. Yo is Malay, he advances faster, but Riot, he's behind, he's behind, and he's going to get tower rushed. There we go, Feudal Age coming in, let's see where the first tower is going to get placed. Vivi, running around a bit, seems like he doesn't know where to put the tower. Okay, let's go quickly to Riot's point of view, can he see the tower? cannot. Look at this. He might see the villager here running. Oh, this is so, so unfortunate for Riot. Yeah, look at this. You see there's one villager going to better town, but this tower will already go up. <laughs> why VV only towering? He seems to be enjoying the towering, which is why he changed his name. Oh, this is a bad tower spot for him though, way too far from the first tower. 
and you have to delete it. Okay, that tower will get up. No way that Riot can stop it. Riot going on stone immediately on the way to Fuel Age as well. 22 population. Let's quickly look at the other side here. Two ranges going up from Togao. Two ranges for Lick, so they're going to do the same thing. Miguel scouts and Eo going for scouts as well. Again, this tower way too forward, not in the line of his other tower. I think he's playing too greedy here. And this seems to be a bit of lag. Yeah, he's going to have to make another tower here in the middle between these two. Students do get free murder holes, but they only get free murder holes in the castle age. Like he's going to lose this tower for free. That's pretty sloppy. Should have placed a tower. Where is he going? Come on, just place one inside. No, again, this is way too far forward. Not in the range of his other tower. Yeah, and Vivi, he tower rushed really well in the second and in the third game, but this game, I'm not liking his towers. He wasted a lot of towers, building them too forward, not in range of his other towers, so not protecting his villagers. Yeah, but this again, maybe he's going to wall in the villagers this time. Ooh. Come on, quickly, wall them in, wall them in. He's so lucky that Yo helps him out every time. Every game, Vivi goes for towers and Yo sends scouts to back him up. And then Lix has to 2v1 versus Miguel and Dogao. And this tower, I think it's one tile too far, but should still be fine. Ooh, Yo might lose some villager here. Tried to put up a defensive tower, but it was way too late. Great call from Miguel here. Like the cow and Miguel, they tried to put pressure on Lix. Lix had defensive tower up, and now they're just going straight towards Yo. Only killing one villager, two villagers actually. But denying the wood line is so important. Okay, more towers coming up. He did deny the zebras. But yeah, this tower. Oh, again, having to delete another tower. Vivi has been deleting so many towers this game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Riot, he was, he, he calculated on getting these zebras, and without the zebras he's lacking the food, he didn't have enough farms placed down, now he's putting down some more farms to get some food income for his fill production, but yeah, he's pretty far behind here in fill count, as you can see, Vivi on the other hand, he is tower rushing, but he is keeping his economy going as well, still 33 villagers, actually the most in this game. Okay, in this disengagement, I think Lick sent over some skirmishers to help Yo, but I think they all died versus the archers and the scouts. No, Miguel scouts, all of Miguel scouts died. I think he has, yeah, he has a few more running around here. Three scouts, mostly full HP. Could pick off one or two villagers here. This villager was carrying a lot of foods. 44 foods. Come. So it's not only the one villager going down, but it's also the 44 foods being wasted. The cow putting up some really big walls here in the front. Look at this really nice wall. And it seems like they're already 
going for some sort of team wall. But now, VV. It's really can't really push in here, or he has to go all the way around. So he decided to just go towards Miguel instead. Again, using the villagers to try and take down the stable. But if he doesn't pay attention, he might lose all these villagers. One, two, three. Oh, three fills going down. Fence of Towers at home. This is also nice. I mean, look at this. He can fit all of his wood villagers inside this one tower. Ten villagers in that one tower. And Vivi actually slinging some resources to Mr. Yo. And Mr. Yo is on the way to Castellation, same as Miguel. Mr. Yo still has a few scouts alive, but at this point in the game, don't think they can do that much. Riot's going for a sling as well. Probably. Yes, here we go. Brazilians doing the same. Riot's slinging towards Miguel. So, Blue and Teo both slinging towards the pocket civilizations. And then we have Tukau versus Lix. I think Tukau is doing better here. He is Mayan, so he has a stronger Sith. Mayans are always preferred over the Vietnamese, of course. Let's see, I was looking at these cows, they're just running around. Don't know where they are going. Okay, Hunter's there. Lix just playing defensively. Lix and the Gao also both up to Coslage. Fifi had a lot of extra zebras, but I think he needs to get these guys safe. This wall will be stopped from Riot. Yo. We'll clean up these three archers from Riot as well. <laughs> oh my god, it's 8 HP villager running around. And I think he might try to put a tower over here, but he's going to get killed by the villager from Riot. Ooh, yo, not going for knights, he is going for melee. Battle elephants. Battle elephants from yo. Versus knights and archers. Look at this HP. Run away. They, even though they had Mikkel and Tukau over here, they had to run away from these strong metal elephants. Let's see if we see any of the players make a monastery. Clean up the towers, no monastery coming up. Lix uh, seems to have cleaned up a forward there. Lix, not too much army. Look at this Lix 16 army versus 32 army from Dugao. And both of them are going for crossbows. Like here, you can see Yo being behind military to. Mikkel, but the Battle Elephants are stronger than the Knights. Uh oh, Lix coming forward at the wrong time. He might lose all of his crossbows here. Such an important fight here. Lix will lose all the crossbows. Let's look at the Knight numbers. Yo, even though he has those strong Battle Elephants, still a negative KD for him. Yeah, Brazil convincingly winning this fight over here. And it's going to lose one monk as well. Yeah, all the battle elephants went down for Yo here. Not looking good for SY. Fifi, this is still being annoying. Doesn't seem like it. He's just full booming 
Uh, sorry, full slinging. His teammates. But yeah, even though he's slinging, his teammates are not doing too well. I think yeah, Mikael overcommitted here a bit. He will lose. Yeah, look at that. Five extra knives, which he should not have lost. He should have come back a bit sooner. Now the cow. Uh oh. Look at this here. Down center being denied, losing three fills. Oh, but this is bad. If these battle elephants get close to the crossbows, it can be so devastating since the crossbows have splash damage. Lots of knights coming in here from in Mr. Yo's base. Mr. Yo's cannot really deal with this. Good micro from the cow. Yep, well played from Miguel. And did I say the crossbows? I meant the the battle elephants have splash damage. Yeah, not seeing. No, it's just another archer range. They're not making monks. Oh. Mikael did add in some monks. Keep in mind he is Spanish. He could have actually gone for the other monks. What are they called again? The ones on the donkeys. I think they might have been better since they move a lot faster. Good uh, eco. Yeah, Brazil looking good here. A bit more villagers. And army numbers are also looking bad for them. Now Lix and Eo trying to push on the side. Look how 14 militaries adding in Ooh, two monasteries from Tokao. I think Vivi, yeah, Vivi tried another sneaky tower here. Oh, Lix, what do you do? Lix. Lix going forward with his villagers. Why? It's here. No, there is. Miguel is Miguel. Uh oh, they're going to have to go back a bit, but in a few seconds, the cow will have monks to convert these battle elephants. Galier has two monks. Let's see if he can get any conversions. There's one conversion. Two conversions. Two conversions for Miguel. Forward castle from Lix here. And a castle from the Gao as well. I think, yeah, I don't know, it's looking pretty pouncy here, but I prefer the Brazilians here since they have the monks to convert the battle elephants. Crossbow numbers are looking better for Brazil. And yeah, the knights are just so much faster. Knights are actually going. Could go to raids. Let's see, yeah, the knights are going to raid. And meanwhile, Ducal will just try to hold his base versus. Next and Yo here. And Yo, at this point, nothing in his base to protect here. These knights could do some damage in his economy. Castle coming up from Miguel as well. Nice castle placements. Which means that the Chinese team really can't push inside it, so that they go towards here. Okay, let's look at the population for Mikael. Uh, for Yo, sorry. 64, 63. 15 idols. Oh, he's losing quite some villagers. Look here, yeah, they're not even winning the fight here. 
nice pickoffs from the cow here, killing a good amount of monks. Yeah, that's why having to go back. Yep, that's why looking really strong. The cow, 130 population, 104 for Miguel. And meanwhile, all of the SY team still at 60 villagers. Okay, Yo, being a bit desperate, he's going towards the economy from Riyadh. And Riyadh, uh, another time with the quick walls. Yes, oh, he did finish the quick walls, saving him a bit more time for the crossbows from the Gao to go all over and help out. Nice, nice work with the quick walls. see here just micro hit and run and he protected Riot. Riot is safe now and on the other side Vivi he's not safe he lost villagers to the raids from Miguel here look at this Miguel could kill even more vills What is this? Oh my god, look at this. Riot being a bit cheeky, falling in the stone, falling off a potential trade line for Imperial Age. And again, the Brazilians this time. Three corners for the Brazilians. Looking really well for them this game. And let's see what Miguel can do in the Imperial Age. Going for Cavalier. Still as Knights here delaying the e economy from Vivi. On the sides, some rams. Uh, castle number 3 coming up. Imperial Age from Lix. And we have those nice red and archers versus plumes. So, which do you prefer, red and archer or plumes? Red and archers, a lot more pierce armor. So they will win in a 1v1 fight, but this is a team game and Dugao will have Cavalier on the side to help out. Phoebe, 49 population versus 63 from Riyadh. Looks like a 2v2, yes it is a 2v2, looks like a 2v2 with uh, VV and Riot slinging. The only difference is you need to keep uh, the third player alive so he can keep slinging. And actually, Riot went for a castle edge. Riot went for castle, getting banking and caravan. Meanwhile, VV still in the feudal edge. Lix, uh, three trebuchets versus three trebuchets. He is losing castles. Yo. What is Yo doing? Making more stables, more battle elephants from Mr. Yo. We still have Cavalier here running around and now they are going to hit the economy again. Just do some more raiding. What would that sneak from Riot? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what you do when you're slinging. There's not so much you can do in the game. So Ria just sent one villager forward, being a bit annoying, walling in some of the resources and the trade lines. Like at this point at the game it seems a bit useless, but if the game goes to late in peril, it could be a bit important. Just delaying the trade a bit longer, the Chinese team will have to take down those walls and here we can see big engagement. Oh, traps might be a bit exposed here. He will lose one, maybe two trebuchets to the battle elephants. Look how fast they will go down. One trap down, two trebuchets down. Three trebuchets gone down, but at the same time, Lix is losing all his red and archers versus the cavalier. So even though the trebuchets went down, I think it was still a good fight for the Brazilians. 
military seven zero and ninety first fifty eight and thirty. I don't think that uh, Brazil can lose this now unless they throw it and there we go yo calling the G G which means that this will be a 2-2 and we will see a fifth and final game check here yeah. Miguel and Togao really well played seems that going into battle elephants wasn't the best idea from Mr. Yo Lix he tried and he had a nice army, but at one point all of his retin archers got destroyed by the cavalier from Miguel. Received well, uh, it seems like Vivi is selling a bit more than Riot. But yeah, village account as well. Look at this 110 for both Miguel and Dugao versus only 68 from Lix.